What is going on guys? It is Josh with ABS Fitness bringing you a quick video today. New setup, this is the basement of the place I'm staying at right now. It's a little home gym. I have a cameraman today so that makes it a little bit easier for me to film. First and foremost, the winner of the EA Sleep Giveaway, Andy Elkins. Congratulations Andy. Look for a DM from me to get your info so I can get that shipped out to you. Uh, today's video topic is going to be short to the point cardio, more specifically cardio on your off days. So um, if you're anything like me or a lot of other people that go to the gym, you really don't want to take a complete day off of the gym. It feels weird to be at home all day. You want to get in and do something. So a lot of people end up going in, maybe doing some abs, doing some cardio. Is this a good idea? It can and it can't be. So a lot of misconceptions um, or some things that people are misinformed about are that the only thing you're focused on is muscular fatigue. So, you know, if you work out, you lift at the gym, you usually have some sort of split, whether it's push-pull legs, bodybuilding, powerlifting, whatever. And the idea is each muscle group gets that 48 to 72 hours of rest. It doesn't stop there, all right? Your body has energy systems. So if you've taken a basic biology course, you probably remember hearing about the creatine phosphate system, the anaerobic, aerobic systems. Those actually have to recover too, along with your central nervous system. So high intensity activities that require, you know, a lot of force, a lot of power output, short amount of time is going to be your creatine phosphate systems and anaerobic glycolysis. These do not require oxygen. And that's going to be your sprinting, your weightlifting, your power training, stuff like that. Your aerobic systems, so the electron transport chain, require oxygen, and that's going to be your lower intensity, more sustained duration, so jogging, biking, you know, your, your stereotypical cardio. So, if you want to go into the gym on your off day and do some cardio, what should you do? Well, if we think about it in terms of the energy systems, you just used the creatine phosphate anaerobic systems for your weight training. You probably don't want to go in the next day on your off day and do some high intensity interval training, sprints, stuff like that. You can, it's not going to be completely detrimental to your recovery, but you're still impacting it to an extent. So my recommendation would be if you're one of those people who just can't stay out of the gym, go in and do what we call LISS or low intensity steady state cardio. So for me personally, this is walking on a treadmill with an incline, some low to moderate intensity biking. And when I say low to moderate intensity, the easiest way to gauge is with your max heart rate. This formula is a little outdated, but a rough estimate would be 220 minus your age. So for me, it's about 197. Roughly, we'll just say 200 beats per minute is my max heart rate. So something low intensity for me would probably look like 100 to maybe 130, 140 beats per minute, and that's really pushing it as far as the intensity goes. If you find yourself hitting 180, 190 beats per minute for 30, 45, 60 minutes, that's pretty intense exercise. You're not really allowing yourself to recover. So please keep that in mind. If you're going to be doing it, go in and do some walking, go do some light biking. Don't push yourself too much because if you're starting to lose strength or you notice a strength plateau, it could actually be because you're not really having true off recovery days. So take all that with a grain of salt. Obviously, at the end of the day, you design your own program. But if you find yourself struggling in some of those areas, definitely look at your recovery days and what exactly, what exactly you're doing because it could be impacting you. So again, as a final note, congratulations, Andy, on that EAA sleep. I'll be doing another giveaway here in the next two or three months uh, after I put up some more product reviews. So if you end up seeing a product you really want, let me know, and it might be in the giveaway. Have a great rest of your week, you guys.